providing an avenue of substantial learning to the students and benefiting its stakeholders, alumni, industry partners, and community, this program has become a key player in education and formation of professional, competent, service-oriented, and productive individuals dedicated to the sustainable growth and development of our nation. Through the years, it has become a leader of excellence in instruction, faculty development, and in research and extension programs. It has reached not only the needs of the region, but also the demands of the global standards. This is the Industrial Engineering Program. The IE program has started its humble beginnings way back in 1999, when the administration of the Bulacan State University saw a need to provide graduates with a leading role in the design, improvement, and installation of systems of people, material, information, and energy. Thus, the IE curriculum was developed. The, the BSIE program uh, started way back 1999. Uh, as a matter of fact, the first box graduated in 2003. Okay. But before that, uh, first there are many inquiries you know, of interested would-be students and even parents you know, uh, about the offering of the BSIE program here in the university. So uh, really there are so many inquiries. You know, I said we don't have to uh, make a decision. Uh, what will be the next engineering program we have to offer. So, middle 90s, no, that time there are already so many inquiries about it. And uh, also during those uh, period, no, uh, the, our former governor, uh, Josie de la Cruz, she being a graduate of management engineering also, uh, she challenged us, why don't you offer uh, management engineering or industrial engineering? So we started also, uh, okay, why not? Yes, we have also a faculty who is a BSIE graduate uh, from Adamson University. So uh, that's the start. With the advancing requirements of the industries, revisions and enrichment on the IE curriculum were made in the years 2008, 2010, and 2012. The most recent revision was on the year 2015, when additional professional courses that would give a competitive edge to the graduate was integrated. The administration, the faculty, alumni, and industry partners took part in the enrichment of the BSIE curriculum. After the revision and enrichments, the BSIE curriculum has met the standards set by the Commission on Higher Education. It exceeds the said requirement by 40% without compromising the 9-hour allowable time per day for students. The development of the IE curriculum was a testament of the department's commitment to provide a quality learning, coping up with the drastic changes of the outside world, making the curriculum a high standard. A high standard curriculum would be futile without being adopted. Thus, the university provides funds to suffice its execution. With this, the College of Engineering where the IE department belongs, is ensured a reasonable budget through its total maintenance and the operating expense, or MOOE. These are the following accompaniments that 
Department was able to utilize its available resources in order to fulfill its educational objectives. Moreover, its empowered men and women sought to find dedicate themselves to the realization of the IE program, thus creating a strong workforce and machinery in the execution of its curriculum through a sensible instruction. The strategies that were being used by in the execution of the IE instruction were outlined in the syllabi legibly in the aid of the learning objectives of the course. Class discussions, film showing, project making, case studies, simulations, brainstorming, peer teaching, experiments, reportings, problem solvings, laboratory activities were being used. These strategies were also being used by the competent faculty members from the service colleges such as the College of Science, College of Social Science and Philosophy, College of Arts and Letters, and College of Physical Education, Recreation and Sports in the execution of the general engineering courses. Laboratories fully outfitted with equipment apparatus and instructional materials were also readily available. Computer laboratories, chemistry laboratory, physics laboratory, electrical engineering laboratory, mechanical engineering laboratory, pneumatics laboratory, the industrial engineering laboratory, the Mechanical Industrial Processes Laboratory. Learning guides and laboratory manuals were developed and formulated by the faculty as an established individuals with different specializations in the field of IT. Also, there are numerous amount of materials, tools, and equipment available and needed in the learning process for IE students. Projects and activities were also integrated in the curriculum and instructions execution for the reason that IEs are needed to be practiced as productive individuals. These projects and activities were actively participated by the stakeholders of the department. Faculty meetings, curriculum development, student and faculty trainings, seminars, conferences, extension projects, research activities, cultural exchange programs, plant visits, and on-the-job trainings. Also, one of their strategies in imparting skills and knowledge among its students, aside from the official student organization, the Philippine Institute of Industrial Engineers, Bulacan State University Student Chapter, the IE department developed 10 student affiliates where the student can hone their God-given talent and skills while relating it to their knowledge, making this relevant to the industrial engineering field. I intelligent. I explore, I extension, I immensity, 
I educate, I interactive, I invest, I e falcons, I e dance troupe, Coro Ingeniero. Each of these affiliates have been successful in shaping each IE students with leadership and social interaction and participation. As a student held up, I explored the official research group of Industrial Engineering Department. Siyempre, natulungan nila ako as the head of the explore to um, experience more dun sa leadership and then sa magpunta-punta sa mga iba't ibang events katulad ng mga competitions and then recently lang nagpunta kami sa uh, Power Camp which is a very great avenue for us to enhance our skills and to train them for the ano, for future future use like pag dun na dun sa real life With the curriculum and instruction that is characterized by a high standard the IE program has proved that it imparts its students with excellence and competence that would be an edge from anyone else in and outside the university, regional, national, and up to the international level. As early as their college years, the IE students have experienced to be on the field beforehand. Some activities were done by the IE department to expose them to the field where they will work in the future and apply their learning in real-life situations. Among these activities were the on-the-job trainings of the incoming fifth-year students and the planned studies of the third-year and fourth-year students to the different manufacturing and services firms within Bulacan. With their early training, the graduates have become ready to face the real life where they have to work that corresponds to their chosen profession. With that, 92.33% of the graduates were employed. Some of them were hired immediately after graduation or even before they get up on stage and receive their diplomas. Moreover, Graduates were also in demand overseas with the professional qualifications and work ethics they possess. Also, as a proof of the program's quality and excellence, the passer of the Industrial Engineering Certification Examination offered by the Industrial Engineering Certification Board have grown in terms of numbers. I'm Janan Gamboa and I am a certified industrial engineer. The benefits for being a CIE is that only few IE graduates took this certification and this would be an edge for applying and or having a promotion. I took the certification when I'm already working and the company has recognized my efforts by passing the certification exam and giving me an additional compensation. Also, our school helps a lot and teach me how to analyze and be a critical thinker. With this experience, I've gained my confidence, making me stand out amongst other IE professionals. I encourage our IE students to also take this certification exam. Let's break the connotations that we are instant engineers, but rather we are certified industrial engineers. The IE program of Bulacan State University was also recognized as an emerging contender in the regionals 
and national arenas in bringing home awards and achievement. In addition to that, the Bulacan State University was also recognized as one of the notable schools that offers the BSIE course. This is the Industrial Engineering Program. The success of the program is also rooted out from professional and competent faculty members. Faculty does matter for a university to develop and implement the curriculum to achieve a vigorous program. Bulacan State University hired an assembly faculty in order to find the best instructors to educate students for every department. For an applicant to be a part of the faculty of the university, different approaches for acquiring the best kind of educator were used. High standards were set and reasonable procedures were also laid out. Uh, one of the qualifications that the CSC uh, requirement is a master's graduate for, uh, for permanent positions. Dapat na MA grad and for part timers. Not that. Uh, mahigpit, but they should be enrolled in MA courses. Yeah. Then, can teach, syempre. As for the age, no age. No, no age. No age. The AI faculty with all those qualifications and capabilities set by the Human Resource Officer of the University comprises a roster of competent and professionally excellent educators tagged as the department's core faculty. Engineer Ivy Marajay Ramos Engineer Marian B. Kalayan. Engineer Hazel A. Caparas Engineer Diane G. Rodriguez Engineer Juan C. Texon Due to their specialized field needed in the implementation of the high curriculum and instruction, the Industrial Engineering Department established an adjunct faculty. They are supplementary professors necessary to join the list to reinforce the IE faculty. Dr. Evangelina G. Custodio Ms. Felicitas G. Mirabuenos Gina S. Venturina The university doesn't stop from hiring the best of the best faculty members. It continues to support its professors and instructors to bring out further improvements of themselves. As the university commits itself to professional advancements of its educators for quality education, it invests to the development of the faculty. It established its Faculty Development Center in order to achieve the following objectives. To minimize inbreeding of faculty members with master's degree program. To increase the number of faculty members with graduate degrees, which are vertically aligned to the college and subject being taught. To increase the percentage of master's degree holders to 100% in 3 years and the PhD holders to 30% in 5 years. Faculty members can avail scholarships, monthly stipends, and allowance to achieve these goals. Well-trained professors can be a key to a successful way of teaching. 
permitting professors to take time away from their daily routines to attend different faculty development programs can directly benefit the university's implementation of its programs. As a response to the call for professional development of the faculty, the IE faculty attended conferences, seminars, trainings, and research and extension activities. The IE faculty attended in different trainings and seminars. Also, professional conferences were attended by the faculty in different places in the Philippines, such as in Bacolod, Iloilo, Cebu, and Davao City. Also, international conferences such as Asia Pacific Industrial Engineering and Management Systems Conference in South Korea, and Vietnam were attended. Research activities that were participated by the faculty members were also a part of the faculty development program of the department. Research activities are imperative to take steps to overcome the faculty's barrier to acquire new knowledge for professional growth. Moreover, extension program of the IE department to the different extension partners was also participated by the faculty. This way, they are able to extend their helping hands to those partners to develop plans that are needed to improve and give solutions into their problems, and at the same time, helping them grow as skilled individuals in their field. To continue developing its faculty, the IE department had set its faculty development plan for the coming years. By the year 2023, the core faculty members will be finishing their postgraduate degrees that are vertically aligned with their bachelor's degree program. Also, different trainings, seminars, and conferences will be participated by the IE faculty for the next five years. This is the Industrial Engineering Program. The Bulacan State University is mandated to provide leadership in research and development to support its primary mission to offer higher advanced professional, technical and special instruction for special purposes, and promote research and extension services, advanced studies and aggressive leadership in agriculture, commerce, education, fishery, forestry, engineering, arts and sciences, law, medicine, public administration, technical, and other fields as may be relevant. Okay, the university conducts research activities because as a university, uh, we have three main functions and that is instruction, research, and extension. Uh, although uh, Bulacan State University uh, is more keen on instruction because uh, as you can see, we produce a lot of top cultures that the university is doing very well in terms of instruction. However, uh, the Commission on Higher Education and the Department of Budget Management uh, demands that the university produce a, sub uh, a substantial amount of researches. Okay? So in this regard, um, we are expected to turn in a certain number of researches annually to be considered for the SUC leveling and ranking. As a response to that mandate, the Bulso Industrial Engineering Department has become excellent in performing research and development works as it is visible in their output. Research and development is an important factor in exploring even the smallest thing that can contribute to a big institution or in this economy, in which an IE's priority the innovation. For more concrete implementation of the research activities, budget allocated for these activities were laid out. 
With these resources, budget from the university, generated funds and personal funding, the Bolso IE from the administrators and faculty up to the students, has conducted different research activities, having a comprehensive, viable, and worthwhile research output. For the last three years, the Bolso IE faculty has completed at least eight research works, namely Mos Ninto, Employability and Productivity of Industrial Engineering Graduates of Bulacan State University, Expediting Rate of Production of Lip Lops in Pulilan Footwear and Luggage Manufacturing, An Analysis of Job Satisfaction of Faculty Members of Bulacan State University, Banana Nut Paper, Re-Engineering Paper Component, Efficiency and better production flow for manufacture of statues. Minimizing production time through motion and time study. Creating a motor assembly system using CPM and line balancing technique. Moreover, the Busu AI faculty has attended and presented their researches in different research conferences in and outside the country. Also, students have been successful in bringing home awards and recognition in various research competitions in both regional and national arena for the past three years. In addition to that, the IE department composed its own research journal entitled I Explore. Also, some of the researches of the faculty have been published in the national and international level. With that, the university provides incentives for the published research outputs. 40,000 for the international publishing and 20,000 for national publishing. Those researches are not just published but also put into practice as these researches were applied to different industry partners of the IE department. This is the Industrial Engineering Program. To simulate demonstrative execution of acquired knowledge and to reach out to the community for a higher level of status, higher moral, cultural, and intellectual level, in searching the one best way, 
the Bulacan State University Industrial Engineering Department conducts different extension activities. Heating two birds with one stone, extension program aims to practice their gain knowledge to the outside world, while extending a helping hand to their adopted communities and partner entities. As a response to the mandate of the university, the I department established the I extension, an extension group to further reinforce different extension programs of the university to the extension services office. With the I extension, both faculty and students can work hand in hand to realize these extension programs with the help of other stakeholders. From planning up to the evaluation and monitoring, the IE faculty and students actively participated to make these extension activities possible and sustainable. The IE extensions programs and activities are further classified into four different projects with different purposes. These are Project Kaizen, Project Gilbreth, Project Lilian, and Project Kalikasan. Project Kaizen. The term Kaizen is a Japanese word which means continuous improvement. This project deals with finding solutions to every constraint encountered in the world of industry by offering free services to help, serve, and be part of continual improvement of every manufacturing and services firm. The Bolso IE have extended their hand to different firms around the area. They have signed memorandums of agreement with Polyfoam RGC International Corporation, also known as Eurotex Foam, NutriAsia, Flying Eagle, Rakal, and Ramkar. For them to work hand in hand with Bolso IE, benefiting both parties mutually. Project Gilbreth. The name of this project is originated from a great man of science and engineering, Frank Gilbreth, who pioneers the improvement of modern standard living. His management style inspired the IE department to conquer the quest for the one best way to uplift each community for a better nation. The main goal of the project Gilbreth is to help and reach out the community through livelihood programs, seminars, and workshops provided by the Bulacan State University, College of Engineering, Industrial Engineering Department Extension Services. Project Lillian This project is inspired by Lillian Gilbreth. Other than being a psychologist, was also a loving mother of 12 and a housewife. The IE department believed in enriching the lives of the children. Because of this, IE Extension conducted different activities and programs that increased the knowledge, discipline, awareness, and social interaction, and developed the talents of the children. Project Kalikasan This is a nature and environment project. The department's main concern is to promote environmental awareness to the community, to understand the fragility of our environment and the importance of its protection. The I extension provided tree planting and cleaning activities to their partner communities. The I department through the I extension ensures that the extension activities that would be done are in line with the needs of their clientele. Needs assessments were conducted before a project is planned and implemented. Also, to ensure the project's effectiveness, efficiency, and sustainability, evaluation and monitoring were done after the implementation of the activities. The I extension through these projects have been beneficial to both the Bulls UI department and its extension partners, and continues to provide programs and activities with the use of its capabilities, own resources, and with the financial support from the University. Funds from Bulsu Extension Services Office, financial assistance from the College of Engineering Parents and Teachers Association, and support from the Philippine Institute of Industrial Engineers, 
Bunsu SC made these programs and activities possible. The expansion projects of the industrial engineering program have created a huge impact to the community, specifically to its partner barangays. Malaking bagay ang nagawa ng uh, Bulacan State University doon sa extension program na naitulong doon sa barangay. Una, inilalam namin kung ano yung mga pangunay pangangailangan na kinakailangan mapagtuunan ng, ng pansin, ng pamahalaan. At doon naging bahagi ang Bulacan State University Extension Services para maibaba namin yung mga programa pinawa kagaya ng mga feeding program na nagkaroon ng yung mga sudyante, na, nagkaroon ng uh, parang adapted child na nag, nag, nagpakita muna sila ng presentation para magbigyan nila ng orientation yung mga, mga bata at mga magulang. Malaking, malaking part din yung ginawang programa para sa nutrition program ng barangay. O, isa, isa sa dahilan kaya nanalo yung barangay malis na tanghalin bilang Uh, champion sa larangan ng nutrition program. Malaki yung naging part ng, ng Bulacan State University Extension Services dahil nga nakatawang namin sila doon sa mga programa na may inalaman sa nutrition. May mga, mga programa kami na hindi mawawala yung bukat Bulacan State University. Laging, laging part ng programa ng Barangay Malis. At very grateful kami doon kasi nung simula ng nakipag-tie up or nag-sign kami ng random of agreement between BSU at saka ng pamalang barangay ng Maris ay sabihin namin na naging magaan yung uh, trabaho namin sa pagbaba ng mga programa katuwang ang Bulacan State University. In order to put their knowledge into practice, the IE Department conducts research activities to their extension partners. Improvement on these partner industries were noted with the help of those researches that were made possible through extension programs of the department. Basically, when it comes to uh, the Bulacan State University Industrial Engineering Extension Program, <clears throat> naging malaking tulong siya sa organization natin. Um, the students actually came up with the research. Uh, it's about warehouse improvement. So, malaki talaga yung naging contribution kasi we were able to come up with uh, fresh new ideas on how to uh, provide solution dun sa problem natin sa mga warehouses. Uh, as for our manufacturing manager, uh, through the help of our partners, we realized kung ano pa yung mga pwede yung gawing improvement sa warehouses. Isa sa mga remarkable ay yung uh, merging ng mga warehouses natin. So, uh, big help talaga itong uh, IE Extension Program. Indeed, the Bulso IE has been successful with these extension programs. This is the Industrial Engineering Program. For more than 15 years, it tried to produce some graduates that are successful in the industrial engineering field. And it was also able to uplift its partner communities and firms towards a better nation. But it doesn't stop there. The quest in finding the one best way is not yet over. Another long journey is yet to be unfolded. The IA department is committed for a continuous and continual improvement of its areas of instruction, faculty development, research and extension services, in producing globally competent, productive, and professionally inclined individuals. It will not be tired for bringing difference in changing lives and realizing dreams and committing itself for a quality and high standard education. This is the Industrial Engineering Program.